Hello everyone, happy Monday. Yes, it, of course it's been a minute since I've been on here. A uh, lot's been going on around here and uh, you know we had a death in the family and uh, you know how we get in our rut sometimes so I've kind of been in a rut in the past but I'm back on track now so that's why I'm here making a video today. I uh, wanted to do sort of like an update because I've gotten a couple of emails of a few of you asking about my pomegranate tree. There was a little mix-up, so I'm going to tell you what happened. Um, when I moved into this house, which was four years ago, there's an empty lot next to me. And I noticed that there was a tree there that was dead, which happened to be the pomegranate tree. So I said, you know, I'm going to try to bring this tree back to life, so which I started to nurse and uh, did what I needed to do. And after about three to six months, it started to look like there might be a chance. So, which I did, I gave it the vitamins, and one thing led to another, and the tree started to bloom. So, the first year, nothing was there but the greenery. The second year, a few blooms. And then, last year, there was pomegranates, but they were not um, edible. They weren't ripe yet. So... I knew that this year was going to be the year that they were. it was going to give. So, like I said, I gave it an extra boost with the vitamins and whatnot. And uh, it just started blooming. It grew all in between the other tree that was there. And, I mean, it went throughout the tree that was on that side of the lot. And then it spread underneath the ground to my side, which bloomed also on this side, but not, no pomegranates, but it's still a young nurturing tree, which my father is going to take in February when it goes to sleep. So I was, I mean, the tree was full, okay, full of pomegranates, but I had taken two and it wasn't ripe yet. So I was going to leave it, in, you know, another week or two. But long story short, I have a long driveway and I can probably get five vehicles in there. And so I decided to get carports put in, uh, two long carports. So I went and ordered and I haven't received them yet. But I wanted to clear all the trees from that side of the lot because I have no trees in my yard. I took everything out and putting new uh, fruit trees and whatnot. But on that side, I wanted everything cleared off. So I had my friend and some uh, my uh, god kids came and everything. Uh, the thing about it, it was only one direction that I gave, and I said, do not touch the pomegranate tree, just leave it alone, but chop everything that's on this side, because I talked to the owner, no problem. She said, get, what you, get rid of what you want. So the only thing I had said the week prior to, a couple of days before they came, the morning they were here, do anything, chop everything, but leave the pomegranate tree alone. So that was the only instruction. So I come in and start making some burritos for breakfast burritos for the guys and my god kids and all of a sudden my god kid runs in and says Nina you better sit down sorry about that my arm's getting tired you better sit down and I'm like what he goes you're not gonna believe what happened and I go what he goes dad cut your tree and I go what and I go ah you guys you know I thought they were joking but I went outside and what I saw was not cut it was chopped butchered Nothing was there. I mean, absolutely nothing. It was to the stump. Nothing, nada. So, I think I said a few choice words that I, you know, held back quite a bit. Came in the house. And I didn't even want to go out there at all. I didn't go out there probably about a week, to be honest with you. So, I went out there and I noticed it was gone. Both that side was gone and this side was gone. So I did have a little bit of vitamins left and I did put it in the dirt that was on this side and believe it or not, the last month now that it has sprouted on this side, so I'm going to go ahead maybe in February my dad will be able to take that, that tree to his house, but as far as the pomegranates go, it's gone. Now I didn't get to taste it, I mean it just killed it. He chopped it, he had a chainsaw and I guess it took control or whatever reason, I don't know, I didn't even hear what happened, but it's just, it's gone and I mean I'm sad about it, but what can I do, it's gone. But a friend of mine thought about me and she has her uh, family that has a few ranches around here and this is what she gave me. Now. Her grandmother's tree was so heavy, these were laying on the ground. So I'm going to probably eat this this weekend. I'm going to enjoy it because I, I know, because I had another one, and it dropped and it cracked, and we just 
left it there for the kids to eat because they wanted to try it. So this is mine this weekend. But for all you inquisiting minds, the tree is gone. And hopefully this little one will land up at my father's in February, March sometime then. And he'll take over and hopefully he'll have a better results than I did. So there you go. That's the update on the tree. <sighs> I mean, it hurts my heart. I mean, I worked a lot of years for that, but can't, you know, cry over spilled milk. It's gone. But the rest of the yard, I had a lot of blooms, you know, really nice. And I'm going to be bringing my, um, my uh, clean peach tree. And I'm going to have a... Um, nectarine tree that's going to be, be moved over here uh, next uh, early part of next year but I do have my Meyer lemon tree that gave a few and so I'm just getting my yard together I have a really big backyard so I've got to put the trees I want in and that's why I cut down the other trees that were here so there you go so everybody it's gone I'm sad but uh, like what can we do you know cry about it but it's over so anyway, okay, Beth, I'm going to, uh, I had two things to say to Beth. I'm going to uh, pass it on to my daughter about your link, about all your little goodies and gadgets. And I hope, you know, everything works out for you, for your surgery as well. And uh, Judy, I, I did start knitting a cap for my daughter, but I don't do that type of knitting. I do other things, but it was a kind of challenge for my friend. And my daughter loves purple, so I'm going to make her a purple cap. And uh, she doesn't watch these videos, so she's not going to know till it's done. As I progress a little further, I will do a little uh, update on it to show you how it looks. Uh, it's starting to come out. You can see it a little bit, but I wanted to get a little bit further in there before I can show you. So good luck on your socks because uh, it looked like a sock to me. And they do say the heels are kind of hard, but uh, it looks like you're doing a great job. So uh, good luck with that. And I will show you guys uh, my little cap as I get along. But uh, it's hard, but I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I can do it. So uh, everybody take care, and I will see you when I see you.